Hello scholars, today we will continue the topic related with the writing skill. In today's session, we are going to consider section C, uh, sorry, section 6. In section 6, we are going to consider the expansion of theme, understand? And second topic in the same section report writing understand generally in the examination this is question number 7a and 7 a1 and a2 is there understand this question is asked for five marks right report writing and expansion of the theme in today's session we are going to consider the expansion of theme what is the expansion of theme and we will see how to write or what kind of uh, things should be mentioned what kind of uh, hints should be followed while attempting this question so look at now first of all try to understand what is meant by expansion of theme here so here you can see now in the examination an expansion of idea or expansion of theme is a short composition. What is it? It is a short composition. Composition. You are expected to take up the idea embedded in the proverb, maxim, quotation, a saying, a slogan, an idiom or the headline of the newspaper and we have to elaborate it. So what it is being given there? What kind of idea is imbibed? Imbibed means which is hidden in the given proverb. Sometimes maxim may be given a quotation, a saying, a slogan, uh, an idea or the headline of the newspaper that was reported. And we have to elaborate it. Understand? With the suitable examples are there. Understand? So look at now. Again, what kind of things should be mentioned while attempting this particular question based on the expansion of theme let's see now what is there here you can see a proverb or a maxim is a short well-known pithy so here look at now try to understand a proverb or maxim is a short well-known pithy saying stated a general truth or a piece of advice etc for example I am going to give you the example. A burnt child dread the fire. A burnt child dread the fire. Now this is on uh, right one idiom or piece of saying we can say understand a quotation of a group of words from the text or speech. For example, it is being given if at first you don't succeed, try again and again right so this is the example of words from the text or speech and a slogan is a short and striking and moral phrase used in advertising sometime some product or idea for example here green india healthy india so in this way such type of example such type of saying such type of piece of word maxim proverbs may be given in the examination okay now the presentation the second point in this topic we have to consider while attempting uh, the idea of expansion or the expansion of idea right the presentation of an expansion of idea we have to see now what is the presentation of idea or theme we have to see so look at now how the presentation can be done here you can see the presentation of an expansion of idea or theme we will see now what is here an expansion of idea here you can see now an expansion of idea should have a proper beginning and ending so look at now how many topics we have considered up to now related with the writing skill in every top, uh, 
topic we started discussing with these two points beginning should be proper ending should be proper understand the ideas should flow effortlessly definitely this is the second one the idea should flow effortlessly do not begin your composition by saying the given proverb means that means no one is asking you the meaning of that particular proverb saying or whatever may be a piece of newspaper whatever it may be it not be begin the expansion you should not begin with the the meaning of the proverb or the given proverb means that right so you can let the begin let the meaning come through your explanation or the or the examples in your summing up yes so how the meaning should come out the example with the help of suitable examples and with the end at the end what you are giving the explanation total explanation at the end the conclusion should come right related with the idea and topic understand now the various exercises in this section will clear, clear you the idea how to attempt the uh, this particular question understand so for this purpose you have to carry out the practice you have to uh, take different kinds of examples for the explanation and for the uh, expansion of idea in this way you have to attempt this question now let us move and see how the marks are given there in this particular section so look at now uh, this question is for five marks as i have already told you it's for five marks understand how the five marks are divided we have to see now the title and proper beginning one mark understand elaboration of ideas and subject and theme two marks understand elaboration means explanation with the proper idea now use of appropriate grammar and vocabulary use of appropriate grammar and vocabulary use of appropriate use of appropriate grammar and vocabulary one mark here it is been given there and the last one is the proper conclusion and layout one mark so in this way the division of mark is there you have to remember the marking scheme while attempting this question in order to get the marks right so i hope you understood today's topic related with the expansion of theme right and with the help of this expansion of theme you will be able to expand the various kinds of proverbs idioms maxims i hope you understood all this right and you will also attempt this question in the future that's all thank you